friends and welcome to my channel. On my last video I made an 1830s, 1840s corset. You can check it out here. Um, I promised that I would make another video to show how I carved a corset busk. If you don't know what a corset busk is, it is this kind of thing. So it's basically just a wooden stick that goes to a pocket that is located at the center front of a corset and it keeps the front straight. In the 18th and 19th centuries these were often carved by men to their sweethearts so there are multiple different beautiful examples of corset busts stored in museums with elaborate carvings. And even if you can buy corset busks they usually don't come with carvings and I'd like to have this personal touch in my projects. So I made this one and I'm really happy on how it turned out. But I could as well make another one and show you how to do it. So what you need is a piece of wood and for me I found this really handy. This is a paint stirrer. I bought it for 35 cents from the local top money, which is basically Target of Finland and uh, it's solid wood so you cannot use plywood for this because when you are carving the plywood layers will separate and they will ruin your carving so you need something like a 4 mm thick wood stick and this kind of uh, paint stirrer works just fine the only thing is that it is a little bit too wide for my corset. Uh, it depends of course on your corset, what kind of uh, pocket it has. Some of the corset busks I have seen have been actually quite wide, but for my corset I want to narrow this down for about one centimeter, like so, and I have to shorten it a bit as well. Which is great because then you can use the leftover wood to try out patterns, how they work for your carving. So, first thing we need to do is to go outside and use the saw to make this a little bit smaller. So, let's go out. I wish I had a workbench for this, but this is the best I can do. I'm trying my best not to saw into the deck. I'm sanding off some rough spots and rounding the corners. I can also remove the black print on the wood. I decided to try carving a series of patterns inspired by old Finnish and Karelian embroidery patterns. I sketched several versions on paper to figure out what patterns might work and how to turn the embroidery into wood carving. I accidentally made these squares too big, so I'm using the smaller diagonal ones, even though my sketching here is not as neat. I can transfer my drawings to the wood by using transfer paper.
I have a Dremel tool that I'm using for carving. It is a very useful gadget to have and I'm using it all the time for all kinds of crafts. I'm cutting wood, metal or boning for my garments. I'm sanding, drilling and polishing. You can use it without the flexible tip but this pen-like attachment makes detail work easier. I have several tips that can be used for carving. For this work, I found that the small round head works the best. Now, let's carve. With fine-grained wood like this, the carving is easy. This one pattern is a bit off-center, so I'm redrawing it before carving. Now I've carved out the pattern and it's time to sand out all the rough bits. I'm alternating between steel wool and sandpaper. Then I go back and deepen some of the patterns that are not clear enough. Before I add paint, I want to wax the wood. This makes the wood stain resistant and gives this nice weathered look to it. Now it's time to paint the pattern. 
I decided to try my son's paints, as he says that they work well for small details. My normal acrylic colors are a bit thick for this. The first paint wasn't dark enough, so I tried the next one. It was a bit better, but still not what I was after. After trying out many of these, I decided to go back to my black acrylic color that I thinned slightly with water. Now I wanted to add some color and decided to give my son's paints another chance. This time I chose base color paint that is much thicker and less transparent. This looks great. I think I should have gone with these base colors to begin with. Corset busks usually have initials, so to finish my busk I'm adding my monogram.
Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, click like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.